Hi, my name is Zhang Fengjing. I'm going to present the country study of Taiwan. Taiwan is located in East Asia and surrounded by the East China Sea, Taiwan Strait, South China Sea, Philippine Sea, and the Pacific Ocean. Taiwan has a small deposit of natural resources. However, limited literary Natural resources can stop Taiwan becoming a rich region because Taiwan established a high-tech road in 1980s. According to the data from IMF, in 2012, the GDP per capita in Taiwan was 38,500 US dollars, ranked the 30th in the world. The GDP growth rate chart shows us that Taiwan had a real GDP growth of 1.2% in 2012. During the year 2013 and 2015, the expect, expected average real GDP growth of Taiwan is 5% annually, and Taiwan's economy will continue the stable growth. I'm going to introduce the electronic industry by using Porter's diamond theory and using the PSTLE method to analyze the business environment of Taiwan. In Porter's diamond theory, he shows the reason behind the success of certain nations and industries in a competitive global space. There are six factors used by Porter to analyze the competitiveness of an industry. There are factor conditions, demand conditions, supporting and related industries, firm strategy, revolve and structures, government, and chance. Taiwan, in the recent years, has emerged as the world's leading countries in eco eco electronics industry, especially in the semiconductor industry. This is because most of the market share is held by firms located in Taiwan. This shows that the electronic industry in Taiwan is employing the use of company relations and support, support as the main determinant of its competitiveness in the international market and trade. The presence of elited micro electronics in the same location with the Taiwan <coughs> semiconductor industry gives the main reason towards the growth of industry on the global scale. This is an implication that Taiwan electronic industry in making use of Porter's diamond economy, economic mode. If the industry is to pro prosper in the long run. It will be essential for the government of Taiwan to keep analyzing the competi competi competitiveness of the industry based on those factors, which will work together to give a competitive advantage to the industry. The PSTLE method is used to analyze the macro environment of a country or region. P means the political environment, and E means the eco economic environment, S means the social cultural environment, and T means technology environment, L means legal environment, and E means ecological environment. The government of Taiwan plays an important role in the high-speed development of Taiwan in recent decades because it built a healthy business environment. It made a decision in time on economic restructuring help the economy of Taiwan transform from labor incentive economy to technology incentive economy. It is established and protect and protect the pillar position of private business in the national economy. It issued laws to protect the 
ecological environment, ensuring the principle of sustainable development. It encourages technology innovation. It is inclusion. Taiwan established the road of high-tech industry in 1980s. The government did its best from every aspect to achieve this goal. And now, Taiwan is the largest supplier of the information hardware system in the world. Finally, Taiwan sees the opportunity of revolution in information and technology and achieved this the taking off of the economy. Next, I will show you a video about Taiwan's economy. Hello and welcome to this Monday edition of Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail in Singapore. We start with Taiwan, which is scheduled to announce key export figures today. Like many export-dependent Asian economies, it has seen a slump in shipments because of the Eurozone debt crisis and slowing global demand. And as the BBC's Cindy Su reports, this is a source of concern for President Ma yong as he seeks re-election in the island's presidential race this week. Exports, especially of high-tech gadgets, make up two-thirds of Taiwan's economy. The shipments to Europe have fallen significantly recently, and overall exports are likely to further suffer. The outlook for this year is bleak. Some economists predict Taiwan's economy will grow by less than 3%. This is especially worrying for President Ma ying who is seeking re-election on Saturday. He is urging voters to give him another term in office so that he can continue to build closer economic ties with Taiwan's biggest trade partner, China. Mr. Ma's opponent, Tsai Ing-wen, accuses him of being too close to China. She warns voters he will make Taiwan economically dependent on Beijing, which would make the island still claimed by China politically vulnerable. To add to Mr. Ma's worries, housing prices are still stubbornly high and are starting to push up rents while wages remain low. Both Mr. Ma and Ms. Tsai have promised to create jobs, raise household income, and narrow the wealth gap. They have also pledged to give more social welfare benefits to elderly people and farmers. But economists say that could increase the burden on the government and would not help the economy grow. In the long run, experts say Taiwan's economy will have to focus less on selling products to Europe and the U.S and more on making affordable goods that appeal to consumers in emerging markets such as Latin America, Southeast Asia, as well as China. That's where economic growth is still strong. And Taiwan's next government will have to help companies here build inroads into these markets to make this crucial transition. Cindy Xu, BBC News, Taipei.